Hey guys, it's Yuta. So, since there's a general election coming up this month, October 22nd, 2017, I decided to make this video so that we can learn how Japanese elections work. But first of all, Japan is a pretty democratic country, and how democratic is it? Well, according to Democracy Index 2016, Japan is slightly more democratic than the United States, but not as much as the UK or Canada. This basically means we have freedom and we can choose our politicians by voting. But obviously each country has a different system. For example, in Japan we don't have a president, but we have a prime minister instead. But we don't vote for prime minister directly. Our prime minister is elected by members of the parliament, or what we call the national diet. And the national diet of Japan consists of two houses, the house of councillors and the house of representatives. And there's nothing unusual here because many countries have a similar system. The house of councillors has 242 seats, and the house of representatives has 475 seats. And the House of Representatives gets more attention because it has more power. So members of this national diet vote for a prime minister, but usually the head of the ruling party becomes a prime minister because they have most seats. Our current prime minister Shinzo Abe is also the head of the ruling party, the Liberal Democratic Party of Japan or LDP. And in Japan there's no fixed term for a prime minister, but Individual parties may have a maximum term for their head. But often, prime ministers, they just quit. For example, between 2006 and 2012, we had a new prime minister every single year for six years. So the Japanese government can be pretty unstable sometimes. But if you talk about Japanese politics, the most important component would be political parties. And in the diet, we currently have 9 political parties represented in our diet. We have more but they don't have any representation. And yes, we do have a communist party. But the biggest ones are LDP which is the ruling party and the democratic party. And LDP has been in power most of the time since its inception in 1955. The only time when LDP was not in power was between 1993 and 1996, and between 2009 and 2012. And LDP is considered conservative, and the current Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is considered more conservative than his recent predecessors. The second most prominent party would be the Democratic Party, which is kind of center-left and I said kind of because in terms of policies and ideologies, the difference between those two aren't always crystal clear. But one thing that is very clear is that the Democratic Party is anti-LDP. So that's what makes them unite. But there's a little bit of drama going on around the Democratic Party at the moment. Actually, you won't hear the name of the Democratic Party in this coming election because they are falling apart. So it started last month. Do you know Yuriko Koike? She's the governor of Tokyo. And last month, she created a new political party called Party of Hope for this election. And the Democratic Party, they decided to join this new Party of Hope because they had a common goal of beating LDP. But there was a little bit of a problem, because Party of Hope was pretty conservative. So many members of the Democratic Party, they couldn't join Party of Hope because they didn't agree with its policies. So they decided to create yet another party, the Constitutional Democratic Party of Japan, which had more center-left policies. So in short, we will see two new parties in this coming election, Party of Hope and the Constitutional Democratic Party of Japan. Now we are finally ready to talk about the elections. For the House of Councillors, we have an election every three years and we choose half of its members. As for the House of Representatives, they are elected every four years if nothing happens. But of course something always happens and there's two possibilities. One, 
when the diet decides that the cabinet is unfit. If that happens, they can have a new election. But this doesn't really happen that much because the ruling party, they usually vote against the proposition. The second one is when the prime minister decides to dissolve the house. And this is the most common reason that we have a general election. And if you think about it, it's pretty convenient because they can decide when they want an election. For example, when their popularity is high, they can decide to have an election so that they can win more seats. And that is why we are having an election this month. So how do we vote for the House of Representatives? When you go to the polling place, you will get two pieces of paper. The first one is pretty simple. You choose one candidate from your electoral district. If they win, they win the district. The second one is more interesting. This is called proportional representation. Basically, you write a name of a party. Japan has 11 block districts for this, and each district has its number of seats, and each party can win seats based on how many votes they get. This is different from the electoral college in the United States where the winner takes all the seats because in Japan, the winner doesn't necessarily take all the seats. Now, each party has a list of candidates for this proportional representation. If a party wins 10 seats, the top 10 candidates will get elected. If a candidate has already won an electoral district, the seat goes to the next candidate. And remember, if you don't belong to a political party, there's no chance that you will get elected this way. So this could be an incentive to join a political party. Alright, so that's how the Japanese general election works. But if you want to learn more about political drama in Japan, I think you should learn Japanese. And if you want to learn Japanese with me, I can send you some free Japanese lessons by email where I can teach you real Japanese that real Japanese people speak. So click the link and join my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.